Hi guys, welcome back. So, I'm bringing you my first ever Goths build order today, and uh, it's been uh, quite handy because of the new patch. I'm having issues with my shift queuing. <laughs> I think my shift button's not working very well, so that's why that kind of went wrong and caused me a little bit of my own time. But um, yeah, we, we've got the first Goths build order, uh, the new. Uh, patch is helping us uh, with that because I've actually got an eco bonus now which is that your uh, hunt lasts longer uh, which means you get more food basically um, especially with it being the hunt as well because we gather faster from hunt makes it much better so we can actually see we're getting the boar in really really early or rhino in this case uh, so villager number five actually goes to get the boar um, so we're going for seven on food altogether but villager five uh, goes to get the boar. You should have found one of them by then. If you've not, um, hopefully you'll be able to get one. But we need to get them in as soon as possible, basically. Okay. Um, we're going to start pushing deer as well. So we want deer in as well as soon as possible. The only problem with this build is obviously you've got to start force dropping from your uh, boar or rhino, um, which can be a little bit tricky for newer players to keep it on top of that. But um, next three villagers come out to wood. And your third third one's going to make a house as well. As you can see, we've got the uh, got the deer in. Um, so what we're actually doing, I've, I've not actually explained what we're doing. <laughs> I've just realised you would have seen it from the title and uh, and the uh, thumbnail anyway. But what we're actually doing is uh, going for eighteen pop scouts. I say eighteen pop; it's actually nineteen pop um, because we're replacing loom with a villager because loom is researched in instantly so we're actually doing uh, 19 pop timings but uh, yeah uh, 18 pop timing but 19 build uh, pop altogether so we said the three onto there we're just adding another three onto ball we've had two so far so we're going to get up to t uh, 10 on food there we go as you can see we've got the uh i think this next one yeah that one's going to come and lure the uh you're, you're the rhino, but obviously just make sure if you've got boar, uh, rhino probably would have finished before now, so you may have done the luring with the previous villager. Basically just lure the boar when you need to. But the next villager coming out is going to make a meal and go to berries, and then we're going to have another one on berries. So we're going to have two on berries. And then uh, we're going to have two more going on to boar. And then the final bit is you're going to wood, so that should be our 19. As you can see, we're just getting this last uh, last deer in, or ostrich as it is here. Two more onto the boar, and then one onto the wood. So, yeah, 18 pop timing. So you're looking at about 18, tw uh, 8 minutes and 25 hitting the feudal age, uh, which is really, really good. So sort of makes the uh, goths compete with um, Mongols, Lithuanians, uh, all the others that can do an 18 pop scout rush. Uh, there's quite a few actually. I mean, we can do a generic uh, 19 pop nowadays, but um, quite hard to do. But um, we can do 18 pop timing with the Goths, which is really good. So I actually think the Goths are actually one of the better um, scout rush sieves now because you'll see when we hit feud age, we've got so much food. It's crazy. So, um, once you've uh, got, you saw I did a bit of force dropping, you'll have to force drop your food. Um, and once you've done that, you're able to click up. And we've taken four off of food, we've sent two to the straggler trees, two over to the main wood line. And we're just using a wood villager to get the barracks down. It's going to make a barracks and a house. Um, just to make sure we've got the uh, pop space there. But you can see we're using the build order overlay app which is uh, something you can uh, download, links in the description of the video. Uh, but if you sign up to be a channel member or a Patreon supporter, then you do get these uh, ones from my channel as a perk. Uh, there's also PDF versions of build orders for lower um, tiers of support. Uh, but uh, you can get these ones for the app if you're using the app. Or if you just want built PDFs, you can get them uh, from lower tiers. You can actually get those individually from the Morley store. So there is uh, also a link in the description for my sort of merch store. You can get individual PDFs for uh, $1 if you only want one. And now we've hit the uh, fuel age. 
Uh, four new villagers are going to go to berries. And you can see we're using those two from the stragglers to make the stable. So we'll get that stable down straight away. We've got double bit axe coming in. We've got quite a few villages queued up. Uh, so all of those four for the berries were queued up. And we've still got 242 uh, food in the bank. So lots of resources. So one of those villages is just going to carry on walling. The other one's going to go to straggler trees, so those builders. Uh, and then once we've got our six on berries, we're going to start adding um, another wood line. So that straggler tree village is just going to stay there for the time being until we've got 100 wood. But we are going to start adding farms um, from these sheep villages. All the while we're still making scouts. You can probably, um, you can just maintain full scout production. Uh, I think I've done it with about 10 to 12 scouts before um, and still managed to get quite a decent castle each time, about 20 minutes. So we've got a six on berries, that straggler tree village has gone over to make a lumber camp and we're adding another three for wood as well. So we're going to have four on that lumber camp. And all the time we're doing that we're just going to keep uh, gradually taking villages off of the sheep there making farms because we are going to run out of sheep soon enough. As you can see, we're still producing scouts. I'm not doing anything with it, it's just to demonstrate the build um, against, well, it's even against standard AI to be honest. But you can see we're quite comfortably maintaining scout production. We're gonna get quite a big mass of them together. So now we've got our four on wood. We're in the sort of final stretch really to getting up to castle age uh, on this page. So the next two villages that come out are gonna go onto food. So, farms ideally, because we've still got some sheep left, we'll just set the gather point onto the sheep, but ideally it's going to go onto farms, like so. And then, once that sheep's run out, they're just going to go onto straggler trees, and then add farms when we need to, or when we can. Uh, the next three villages are going to go to gold, and then we'll be researching wheelbarrow. So at the moment, scout-wise, we're at seven scouts. Got another one on the way. I'm going to leave it there. I think that's the last one I do. So we've got eight scouts. So that does include our uh, starting scouts. So we made seven scouts there. That build is still walling up. So we've just got two more to come out on gold. And then go for wheelbarrow. So it's 18 pop scouts into plus gold spam. So... By the time we hit the castle age, we should have enough gold, uh, stone pretty much, to make a castle. We'll then research uh, anarchy, is it? Or, yeah, it's anarchy, isn't it? Um, to produce husk at the barracks, and we're just going to spam from a barracks and the castle, um, basically. You could do it with long swords instead of castle. Uh, and go for horse goals. You could probably get three state, uh, three barrack production from um, for long swords. Should you decide to do that, I'll probably do a, another variation of this build to, that caters for long swords instead. Um, so then at least you've got the two, two, uh, three uh, production rather than two, three building production rather than two. So wheelbarrows in. We're going to send three new villages over to stone. And we're gradually going to be taking a couple off of berries. We've taken one off, there's the second one. Uh, send them to farms. And then the remaining four, once that berry bush is done, they're going to go over to stone as well. So we'll have seven on stone. But I think with this one, you could even go into long swords anyway, if you don't research anarchy. And you just use your castle to make husk girls. And then maybe one or two, if you're lucky, uh, barracks. So you potentially you could do that if you don't research anarchy. Just have horse cars from your castle and then just make long swords from your, from perhaps two barracks. Because long swords are cheaper, so probably better to do, use those. So final two villages are going to come out. Going to go to gold. And then you can see we're pretty much there or thereabouts clicking up. We, we did make a blacksmith down there with our builder. So we've got our buildings. We're getting walled up. It's quite taking quite a while to wall up, but hopefully in a proper game, um, you'd have been getting gaining your map control with the, that nice uh, big group of scouts. Um, so I think we hit the castle age at 19.30, so 19 minutes, 30 seconds, which is a pretty good castle age time. 
uh, considering how much we've invested into scouts. So if you only made a few scouts, you could certainly get up to Castle Age you know, perhaps a minute quicker than this, at least. Um, so pretty, pretty good build. So um, I'm probably going to do a, a, a long sword version, as I say. And I might try and perhaps not invest as much into scouts and see how quickly we can get up. Um, and then you know, make sure I get the man at arms and long sword upgrade uh, as well. Uh, you know, as quickly as possible, really. I don't know. You might want to keep it similar build to this, just so you've got enough uh, of an eco to, to maintain three barracks. Probably the best idea. Uh, at this point, I think I realised. I probably could have taken a villager off of wood, maybe sent them to farms, because we do end up with quite a lot of wood uh, banked or you know, saved up for a little while. Or you could have put what, an extra one on stone, perhaps, because we do we're not quite there with the six fifty when we get there. I'm not sure. You'd have to kind of you, you can kind of make your own decisions up with that. So I keep seeing that the bump, villager bumping is is much worse with this new patch. I don't know if you've noticed it. But we're pretty much there. I think I'm just going to drop off manually. There we go. So we can make a castle now. So castle's gone down 1945. And at this point we're just going to keep adding villagers to gold a little bit. We'll add some more onto food as well because we will need more farms. Probably expect all of these stone villages will go to farms, to be honest, and we'll just add a few more onto, uh, onto gold. Um, but we've certainly got enough resources for anarchy. We've got a couple of, we've got horse collar coming in, we've got the um, attack upgrade. I think we've already got the um, armor upgrade as we were going up as well. And then I'll fast forward. Yeah, those villages from stone are all going to start going over to farms. Look. And um, we should be able to start just spamming Huskars. I have got an extra um, blacksmith here. Um, not blacksmith. Blah, blah, blah. Barracks. So I did make it a second barracks. But I'm only producing from the barracks. I'm not producing from the castle because the economy doesn't quite um, doesn't quite do it. But you can see we're getting quite a few Huskars. But I think perhaps if we'd have gone for long swords instead of anarchy, we probably could have maintained two long sword production and plus goals from the castle. So you might want to do that instead as an adaptation uh, for this build. But that's it for this one. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments uh, to this build order and uh, do like and subscribe if you want to be keeping up to date with new videos. Cheers guys, see you on the next one.